Welcome to Digital Damage Control. Learn more about how to use social media, internet and tech in a healthy way. Today we will look at the top apps on the F-Road Store for the average consumer. Jitsi Meet is a well-trusted open source video call service for your smartphone and PC. It is encrypted by default and you can meet up with as many people as you want to. No account is needed and the video rooms are locked protected. This makes it a great replacement for Zoom, which happens to face new security issues each month. Jitsi Meet is available on F-Droid and Google Play. But because the Google Play version has trackers and the F-Droid version has none, you should definitely download it from the F-Droid store. In my last video I explained why you should always download apps from F-Droid when you have the possibility to choose the download source. Be sure to check it out if not seen yet. Twitternoda is an end-to-end -end encrypted email provider based in Germany. A combination of different encryption types and security protocols makes the mail service very secure. It comes as app with a clean user interface for your phone or you can log into your account on your PC over the internet browser. Additionally, it offers the calendar feature and dark mode. You can use a free version with ads that covers the basics you need. For advanced functionality, upgrading to a premium account is possible. Another great app on the F-Droid store is Fair Email. The app is not an email provider, it is an email client. This means that it doesn't support its own email addresses, but instead lets you log into multiple email accounts you already own. This kind of email app often comes pre-installed on phones. But because they tend to have trackers and send data to the phone company, you should not use them. Instead, you should replace them with an app like Fair Email. It does not have ads, only one tracker, and can be disabled and does not send data to third-party servers. KeyPass DX is a simple-to-use password manager which stores account details, for example from Tudanoda, locally on your phone using the latest encryption algorithms. It also supports autofill and has a password generator built in. NewPipe is a YouTube wrapper. It takes the information from the YouTube website like video, video description and comments, and leaves out things like ads. You can subscribe to channels without the need of a Google account and download the video's audio and subtitles. Downloading videos for the private use is allowed in Germany, but it again is different in each country. I would just recommend to not share downloaded videos and audios with other people, or use the download function too extensively. Artists also need to make money from selling their albums, and re-uploading videos from other YouTubers isn't a nice thing to do. So as long as you use this app in a responsible manner, you should not be afraid to get into any trouble. Instagrabber allows you to view and download pictures and videos from public posts. It lets you follow people without the need of an account. For advanced features, you have the possibility to log into your actual Instagram account, if you have one. Instagrabber only sends minimal data to Facebook. That's why it's more privacy friendly than the official Instagram app. If you want to support a person, make sure to follow them on your Instagram account, even though you use Instagrabber so that the number to the followers gets counted. Facelim is a Facebook client which uses the website version as base and again only sends minimal data to Facebook. I did not try out this app because it only works when you have an account and I don't recommend to use Facebook at all. If you have an account then please don't use the official app but use Facelim. It's basically the same with Slim Social for Twitter. You also have to log into your account in order to be able to use it and it does not come with trackers embedded. So it is more privacy friendly. Still be aware that the website also has trackers. But the website trackers can collect less data than if you would use the official Twitter app with trackers. Unit Converter Ultimate is a simple unit converter for things like temperature, currency, speed, weight, fuel and more. It has a nice material design and works offline. Only for the latest currency translations you need to be online. It really is an ultimate converter. Simple Flashlight is another great tool for everyday survival. You can use it as flash or as strobe and adjust the flashing rate. That's great for festivals and concerts or decorational purpose. It also has no ads, trackers and features a dark mode. All that good stuff. Then we have Survival Manual. It is a fully offline, well-organized survival guide. You can find explanations on how to, for example, build a shelter, make fire without matches, find out which plants are poisonous and learn about basic medicine. This is great for emergency situations or just for practicing your outdoor skills. Knowledge is power. With Kiwix you can download Wikipedia articles to specific topics, so that you then have a fully functional offline Wikipedia in your pocket. You can download travel guides, all articles to for example basketball or TED talks. 
file size can be as small as some megabyte or as big as many gigabyte. So I would look at the file size first and how much storage you have on your phone. Exodus shows trackers and permissions from other installed apps. This gives you an idea of how serious or not serious apps take your privacy. I definitely would recommend you to download this app. It only works with an internet connection. Why is that important? Because there is a similar app called Classy Shark 3 Exodus, which works offline. Exodus asks the Exodus privacy server for information on how many trackers an app has and displays it more nicely on your phone. They have their own database. Classy Shark 3 Exodus scans the app code directly on your phone. It has the advantage that it also can scan pre-installed system apps, but it does not look as fancy as Exodus. Ideal would be to install both apps and try them out. They don't take up a lot of storage after all. Wi-Fi Privacy Police prevents your phone from leaking sensitive data when Wi-Fi is enabled. When you go to different places with Wi-Fi enabled, it will always try to contact all the wireless access points you pass by. It does this in order to find a router you already connected with and entered your password into. The problem is that your phone goes through all the Wi-Fi connections you have stored and sends this data to the router. This makes your phone identifiable. And there are big stores that use this to track how often you come to their store and how long you stay. Wi-Fi Privacy Police blocks this data from being sent and asks if you want to connect to a new Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi connections where you already entered the password, it won't block. Simple but very important privacy and security tool. Now let's talk about End OTP. This is a two-factor authentication app with minimalist design and encrypted storage. Two-factor authentication is used to make the possibility of somebody hacking your account almost impossible. When you log into your account on the browser, you don't only need your password but also a six-digit code that gets generated on your phone. This code must also be entered before you are logged into your account. So even if somebody has a password, they don't know the code. This is especially important for services that are linked to your bank account, like for example Amazon, or critical services like your email, which you use to sign up with on other accounts. If someone would take over your email account, they could reset all accounts that are tied to this email address. They would also have access to them. Fennec Fdroid is an open source browser based on Firefox, but removes proprietary bits. This app has one tracker. It is Mozilla's own developed tracker, and not from an advertising company like Google, Facebook or smaller advertising companies. MUPDF is a lightweight document viewer that lets you open and read PDF files. You don't have to rely on PDF viewers with ads or trackers. OSM and Infinity is a map service based on OpenStreetMaps. It offers offline maps which also include foot, hiking and bike paths. This makes it much more detailed than Google Maps and great for outdoor activities. The app has many extra features like tracking your trip, displaying contour lines and hill shading, using Wikipedia information to show points of interest and a lot more. Screen Cam is a lightweight screen recorder with no ads. It has one tracker which can be turned off, but it still will send data. Still it is a rather privacy friendly alternative compared to popular screen recorders out there. It has many settings such as changing the resolution, frames per second or the bitrate of your recording. Stay tuned for my next video where I will talk about how tech affects your health and what you can do to mitigate problems. If you enjoyed this video, a sub would be amazing. And with that said, I wish you a great day and I hope to see you soon.